Like millions of Americans, um, I was going on about my life and suddenly discovered I was an inadvertent recruit into the army of caregivers, family caregivers, and suddenly discovered uh, a wealth of problems that I had been completely oblivious about, everything from fragmented and uncoordinated care to the fact that caregivers, people like me, were reinventing the wheel starting from scratch. We had no training, we had no knowledge, we had no easy access to each other. Um, and that's when it occurred to me that the way we're doing this now doesn't make a lot of sense, where people don't know what to do until the crisis is upon them and everyone starts from scratch. You know, there are millions of family caregivers in this country. They're all around us every day, but we're virtually visible to society and to each other, and that's a waste. There's a big problem with knowledge that's locked in, lack of communication. These people should be resources for each other, and society, the culture, should be there to help them. So that's why I thought I ought to write about it. Um, and how can we do that? How can we make these millions of caregivers resources for each other? I don't know. We start by, I think that that's a bit of a flippant answer, but, but what I said in the article is that it's, it's not primarily about government doing something. It's about the kind of change in psychology and consciousness that went along with, say, feminism. In the 60s and 70s, when you had this army of underutilized women who were frustrated at home, who came to an awakening that they were a social resource and forced society to accept them as a social resource. Um, gave them networks and ways to plug into each other if they're raising kids at home, gave them ways to have careers and jobs while having a, a, a mommy track and so on. And over the course of a generation, we changed how society saw and utilized what used to be called housewives. Um, we don't call them that anymore. Well, that's what's got to happen with caregivers. Society needs to wake up to the fact that these people are there providing an absolutely crucial social role and begin creating a social infrastructure around them. And that happens by creating the same kind of awareness that, that went along with feminism in my parents' generation. It ought to be possible to get more employers uh, to give time off for caregiving when necessary now. It's not a free lunch and there are difficulties there. But more and more employers are gradually waking up to the fact that a lot of their employees are losing productive time because they can't get the time that they need in a regular way to deal with what they have to deal with at home. Um, and they range from all of that to the very broad, which is, um, it's crazy that people are surprised in middle age by the most predictable event in life, which is the aging and debilitation of, of one's parents and one's family. Well, we're surprised by that because, you know, no one talks, it, talks to us about it. When we sign up for a job, um, we're asked, what are we doing about our retirement plan? Well, maybe we're 25. We say, what retirement plan? Well, you're going to have one. comes with the job. Um, we ought to also be asked by employers, by our community, by uh, clergy. Uh, it ought to be part of the nation's lifeblood that when you reach a certain age, people start asking you, what plans have you made to take care of your parents? Or what are you doing to help the guy next door who's taking care of his parents? And that's a cultural change.